everyone to your Astro Dice reading for January. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in the beginning of the year. The next reading coming out will be your manifestation video for 123 Portal, okay, which started uh, December 31st, which will run until January 7th, okay? So be sure to check that out if you're into learning about manifestation. Okay, let's go. Going straight into, whoa, first sign out is Virgo Energy in the fourth house with some sun energy. Nice. So having the sun over here is your immortal spirit. Purpose and destiny is involved. Doing it Virgo style over here. You have the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. A lot of hard work going on over there. She's going to break her back. She's, <laughs> she's going to need a chiropractor after a while. A really good, nice, hot back. Um, let's see. A lot of hard work. Going straight into the, I'm sorry, the fourth house. Your home and roots of your being. Okay, so let's get in here and see what's going on with you, my friends. Okay, getting straight into the sole purpose of the fourth house. This is where your home is, your family is, your dog, your house itself, those you live with, right? If you have roommates, going straight into the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. Obstacles and challenges. No recognition and reward. But not really feeling the emotional loss. So, so I like that, though, because it's like, okay, I'm putting up with these obstacles and these challenges, right? I'm not seeing any teamwork over here. Where's the teamwork in the house? Um, but I'm not going to allow it to just kill my beginning of the month, right? It's like I have New Year's resolutions. I have things that I want to get done. I'm not going to allow this to 100% affect me in the way that maybe maybe they're trying to trigger you. Wow, why do I feel that? Maybe you know that they're supposed to be doing something and it's triggering you. Or they're trying to trigger you. I mean, it could even be that, like, you have somebody coming to do your roof, right? And the roofers are late. And you know what? It's like you keep saying and you keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Um, you know, and we're not building anything. Um, hello. But I'm not going to allow that to 100% affect me because I'm trying to do something else. So it's almost like I can see the two of cups behind me. So I'm not going to 100% allow this into my energy. You, Or I really feel like somebody is, you know, giving you obstacles and challenges, trying to trigger you, and you're saying, no, I'm not going to be triggered by that. Why do I keep feeling that? I feel like that's the one. Like I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing with my Virgo over here. But that's the painstaking air, right? That's the, you know, yeah, shattered dreams, domestic disharmony, misaligned, struggling relationship. But I'm not going to allow it to, yeah, to 100%. I'm not going to allow your bad behavior to 100% trigger me. I just keep feeling like okay. that. And on that recognition and rewards, and we're just not working together. You have some kind of news that is bringing in a sudden change, some kind of awakening, some kind of tower moment. Um, this is actually a happy surprise that's going on. In this situation, it's like I'm not working together, but all of a sudden now I have a happy surprise. So where this you're having this tower, you're also going to get this good message. So it's going to be two and one in the beginning of the year. It's I'm having a tower moment, and as soon as I'm having a tower moment, I'm having this happy surprise, or it could be the other way around. 
um, the emotional loss. It feels like that's why you're not going to feel that emotional loss as much either because you do have this happy surprise that is coming in, which is something that you've manifested. So you're saying, even though I'm having all these issues with this person who is not making me very happy um, and I'm having a tower moment with them, I got this new message, which is saying my manifestation has come in, something I've been praying on this whole time, something that's going to give me new faith, new hope, um, and bring my life into a different standpoint. Um, wow. So straight from tower to good message or from good message to tower, um, it'll be a little bit different for everybody, but definitely it'll be somewhere between the 1st and the 14th. So in the mid-month, you do have fulfillment of wishes, but that's that Nine of Cups coming in. That's that Magician coming in, but you also have the Swords, <laughs> the Ace of the Ace of Swords in reverse, and your intuition is spot on about the situation. So I do feel like somebody, whoever you're fighting with, definitely does not see things clearly. It does not see the way you are seeing a situation. Um, you know, is the tower made because of the happy news? That could also be a situation as well. You get this happy news, which causes this tower with this other person. Maybe that's where the obstacle and challenge is actually coming from. Like I said, it's a general reading. Um, yeah. The Knight of Swords is ambitious, fast thinking, feeling like I'm exactly where I need to be, speaking my truth, going after what it is I want, defending my rights to have my wish fulfilled. Um, somebody is not seeing it your way. They feel like you're overcommitted to, some, to whatever this is. And they think that this is a reckless situation where they're very frustrated and they have self-limiting beliefs about what it is that is going on within the situation. They do not like this situation at all. This is causing a lot of friction within the home. Uh, this happy news could have caused all this to begin with for some of you. Um, you could have got a job across, you know, across the state. Maybe you have you know, something awesome that happened that you have to leave the country for and they don't like that, that you're leaving. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. Or maybe it's just the fruit on top, you know, the fruit on top of the whipped cream um, that caused it. We were already having issues and then this happened and this blew everything out of the water. Um, something I wasn't worried about at first and then, you know, your intuition says that you need to make this judgment call. This is a new phase. It's something that's very good for you and your family, whether or not they see it or not. Um, yeah, they don't have any inner strength. They have a lot of self-doubt about this situation, but you're also having a self-doubt about that situation as well when it comes to the way they're thinking, right? You're saying, no, you're having too much self-doubt. You need to stay strong within this situation. This is something that's beautiful for our family. This is beautiful for me, um, however it is. Um, Right, and so you're trying to be very diplomatic about the situation and stay in control and stay balanced of what it is you want. You're trying to be supportive. You're, you know, you want them to be supportive as well, but they're not being supported about supportive of the situation. Could be dealing with a Leo. So then you do have the material harvest. At the end of the month, you do have the awareness of what's going on within the situation and con and conflicting and defeating things are still going on. And it has to do a lot with financial material changes. So, you know, you're in conflict, but it's like I have this great thing that's going on and I need to do this. And they're not supporting this idea at all, this new happy surprise. Um, so when... You have the Nine of Pentacles over here. You're saying, you know what, there's fruits. You're going to see the fruits of your label over here. Uh, fruits of your labor over here. Um, but there is some kind of deadlock, some kind of decision that you need to make. It's almost like, I know that if I plant my seeds here, I'm going to have everything, but I'm not sure what to do. They're so upset with me about this situation, you know, and it's just making it worse and worse that now you're starting to have self-doubt. Do not, you know, self-doubt yourself if you know that it's something that's wonderful. But then you're saying, this is where my magic was. I wanted this. I manifested this from the past, and I want this to do this, but it is going to cause me to leave home or move forward, right, or cause me to work later hours or however it is, um, 
right? But you're going to want to trust in your own instincts. Spirit says it's time for you to make sure that you trust in yourself when it comes to the situation. And yes, with the conflict and defeat, there is this lack of mindset when it comes to this and loneliness. And if it is something that you have to leave, you know, and you can't come back for a couple of weeks or something and your person is very going to feel very lonely without you. They're doing it out of insecurities. Okay, so, um, and this is because of the trans personal transition. So it feels like you may delay some plans or they want you to delay plans um, because of their own insecurities to the situation. Um, but you are looking and planning for the future for your financial material changes. Hmm. Digging deep within the situation is the hangman over here looking for the purpose and the enlightenment, which is going right back to the sun over here with that purpose, knowing that this is what my wish was, though. That was my wish. This is my gift. Um, and so you're going to have some issues over here trying to get, yeah, to the sun because it says that the overall message is the world messages and fast acceleration with the sun, right? And you staying very courageous about the situation. But this person over here is being, you might feel they're being manipulative because of insecurities, um, right? Or even trying to give you bad information about the situation just to keep you away from this situation from their own fear and doubts um, of whatever it is, right? Okay, guys. Take it how it resonates. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.